like to welcome the National Federation of the Blind guests back to our hotel. We're thrilled to be hosting this conference once again. Have a great event. Enjoy. Hi, come on in. Hi, my name is Larry Veltri and I'm the general manager here at the Holiday Inn in Manahawk, New Jersey. And I'd like to welcome you all to the uh, annual convention of the National Federation for the Blind of New Jersey. Um, oh, we have uh, been honored to host this convention over the years and um, we know that uh, conventions are a great place for people to gather and, and um, explore new technologies and to, to celebrate the successes. Um, but it is also a kind of a reunion and a place to for fellowship. And um, because we have hosted this event before, uh, it's become a kind of a reunion for our staff as well. Hotel manager, it's very uh, gratifying to me to hear uh, good things about our staff, uh, about their helpfulness and, and friendliness and so forth. But uh, to be honest with you, um, it's not very hard to do. Uh, so many of you are um, independent and self-reliant and, and quite capable that a little bit of assistance from us is, is a very easy thing to do. And. Um, uh, and a simple thank you or a smile or recognition is um, a, an ample reward for us. So um, we're happy to be a part of the uh, success of this uh, convention and um, we're very happy to welcome you to our, our hotel. Okay, so this is my first time in a national version of the New Jersey State State Convention, Mary. So what is unique and special about New Jersey's Oh, Brian, it's a great question. I think that we're so enthusiastic and so um, quirky. You know, we're not like a huge affiliate, but we have a lot of spirit and personality. And I think that that really comes through um, in our conventions. Hi, I'm Mary Fernandez. Um, I am actually the coordinator for the EDGE program, which is a youth transition program um, for high school students. Um, I am here uh, participating in the New Jersey uh, for National Federation of the Blind Convention. Um, I've been here since Friday, November 6th, and been having fun so far. My name is Marcia Gephardt, and this is my daughter, Michaela. And we are here at the State Convention, the New Jersey State Convention in Manahawkin. We've been coming to the convention for about six years now. Yeah. It's a highlight. Sure is. <laughs> and um, tell them how old you are. I'm 15 years old and I go to a regular school, which I love. Great. I'm in 10th grade. Mm -hmm. um, what do you like to do at school? I'm part of Writers Club, which is a club of people who like to write. Okay. And do you socialize with the other kids there? Yes. Yeah. And, and do you have a teacher of the blind? Yes. I'm at school most of the time. Mm -hmm. and, um, what is your eye condition? I have optic nerve hypoplasia, and that means I do not have an optic nerve. And the best way to describe that is like a TV. When you are using, like when you're a TV, it's like the TV needs a cable to work. And if the cable is not there, then the TV doesn't work. The same thing. I don't have my optic nerves, so my eyes don't work. That's right. That's right. But does it hinder you from anything? No. Not at all. Uh, Dennis and Martin come here with my wife, Lori, who's going to be sitting on the other side. And we've been doing it for, uh, for, I don't know, 12, 13 years. And, uh, Enjoy coming down. We're glad it's in Manahawkin. 
Hi, my name is Jane Degenshine, and I live in West Orange, New Jersey, and I'm a mom of three wonderful girls and a grandmom of one so far, and a lovely husband. I uh, got addressed to this um, National Federation of the Blind for my brother Joe Ruffalo, president, over 23 years, I think, um, and he had difficulty even coming for the first time. So when I started coming, it was probably the year 2000, my father had passed away and we started a scholarship fund in his name, uh, in blessed memory. My mother passed away in 2007, and so, so now the scholarship is called the Rose and Joe Ruffalo Scholarship Fund. I thought it was a great thing to do to give back to people who were in need of getting to national convention, and it <clears throat> made my parents' memory live on in the fact that they were the biggest givers of all, they showed us how to live properly, how to do good, and how to always care for each other. The treasure of love and friendship with everyone you have. And to, to climb the mountain isn't the end game, but it's traveling with others to reach a goal. And in the Federation, we do that. National Federation of Wild Live the life you want. I want to thank everybody for being here. I know it's an effort to get here. So give yourselves a round of applause for being here. 272 people. Wow. Wow. I didn't look through the walk. We had quite a few walk-ups this year, too, which was great. Uh, on Friday, we had almost eight, uh, 18 in the morning. About 26 walk-ups, which is pretty good. That put this thing to 300. Saturday or another handful, and a bunch of people that you know we just come on in, husband and wife just register one, not the other. So we had well over 300 people here throughout the weekend, and it's not counting the, our speakers and our vendors. So oh, this is pretty crowded, pretty good deal. So put your hands together. And thank you. So we ask and pray that today. You bless us in the work that we are doing so that we can bring sight and insight to the blind. So that we can spread technology and education and opportunities to all who need it. So that all can live and be free and enjoy the blessings that God has given them. Everybody smile, 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 everybody laugh, 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 everybody ha, 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 and have some fun. Everybody sing, 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 everybody swing, 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 everybody sway to the song of love. Everybody smile, 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 everybody laugh, 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 everybody la, 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 and show some love. Everybody dance, 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 everybody cha, 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 everybody march to the beat of the drum. Feel the sun shine down, spread its warmth all around. Change your frowning face, wear a smile every day. Everybody smile, 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 everybody laugh. Everybody ha, 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 and have some fun. Everybody sing, sing, sing. Everybody swing, swing, swing. Everybody sway to the song of love. Everybody smile, smile, smile. Everybody love, love, love. Everybody ha, 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 and hug someone. Everybody dance, dance, dance. Everybody cha, cha, cha. Everybody march to the beat of the drum. Everybody love, everybody laugh, everybody smile. Everybody love, everybody laugh, everybody smile. My name is Betty Herman. I'm from Morristown, New Jersey. I love coming to the conventions here with the NFB. It gives me a, a, core, a good core feeling being around everyone who understands what all blind people go through. Um, we support each other, we guide each other, and it's a wonderful feeling to come to these events. My name is Martin. I'm with my wife, Misty. This is our fourth, fourth year at the um, NFB NJ State Convention. 
Um, a little bit about us. We've been married 29 years. Our um, anniversary was actually the 25th of October. So we kind of use this event as a mini-cation to like uh, kind of an extended honeymoon. Um, we think this event is uh, an excellent opportunity to um, get to know other people um, that are in a limited site or no site environment and um, the techniques and tricks and tips that we learn here um, help us to uh, better accommodate one another and, um, and she share, out, share out into the public and let them know that uh, just because we're um, what they say disabled doesn't mean we can't do because we're going to right. prove to you that we can. <laughs> <laughs> met in high school yeah. and uh, I used to walk her to the bus stop because <laughs> I was uh, I graduated a year ahead of her so um, we lived across the street from one another and um, every morning I'd walk her to the bus stop before I went to work and uh, kind of like a childhood uh, childhood sweetheart thing yeah <laughs> from my perspective of a sighted person of a blind spouse Get involved, get educated, understand um, where the um, sight impaired are coming from, get to know their um, perspective, and, and, and just get involved and be a part of the organization. Get involved, make a difference, and make it better. You owe it to yourself to um, for your relationship with one another. It, it helps the organization and uh, just be involved and not be afraid just if you have any questions be free to ask don't assume because assuming ain't going to solve nothing I love to swim and I also love studying history in particular Marie Antoinette and the French history and how long have you been studying the French history? for like four or five years <laughs> She, that's really her passion. And how do you study it? What kind of audiobooks? Audiobooks. Mm -hmm. And what is it that you like about the French history that you like? I like to study. I don't. I don't like the French Revolution. I like beforehand, like how, like they had a, a one head governess to the children of France and like five under governesses. And I like learning how they arranged all that and all the etiquette and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And do you think you'll ever stop listening to books about things? No. <laughs> I want time travel to France. She wants to time travel to France, right? I think the Bell program is a wonderful experience for the children. I know Ethan looks forward to it. He looks forward to the friendships that he's made. He looks forward to being able to practice Braille. And he told me last night, he said, you know, Grandma, he said, a lot of the stuff I knew, because Ethan's been doing Braille since before he even got into kindergarten, and he, and he gets to help the other children, and he said, I actually learn from helping other children, and I know as a former yes. teacher myself, that's the best way for kids to learn, to help somebody else. Ryan's mom. And <laughs> I think we can tell our boys, Ethan and Ryan and Josiah and some of the other boys who are down here are very, very close. We have only gotten to see each other over the summers, really. We, now we see each other a little bit more, um, which Ms. Barbara was asking the boys about. They do get to see each other a little bit during the school year, but we don't live real close. So this program has been amazing for us socially, uh, to make friends who are in similar situations and to understand that we're not alone. And they get close friends. Honestly, I, I believe it's lifetime friendship, really. They will always have each other, no matter what. And that's crucial to, um, to our kids. Um, there are some obstacles when you have to sit there and feel to to distinguish, um, that's my mom. <laughs> hey, mom. Congratulations, Grandma. <laughs> 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 
she's like, oh yeah, okay. How are you, Um, there, you know, there are some things where um, a sighted parent may be able to distinguish it faster than, um, you know, individuals such as ourselves. My name is Chrissy Primarana, and this is my second year at the NFB convention. I'm honored to be here and to be a part of this event. I'm an SSP, which is a support service provider for the deaf and the deafblind. i am also uh, recently graduated my interpreting program for interpreting for the deaf as well, so I'm fluent in ASL and American Sign Language. Um, I actually am secretary of the Glassboro chapter of the National Federation for the Blind. I feel it from an SSP. My perspective is from my clients and who are also now my friends. I want to help to be able to empower them to actually live independent lives, not taking anything away from anything they can or can't do. Um, actually, I'm humbled. Um, I've been chosen to be a secretary and I'm a person with um, vision, which usually is not um, part of the organization, usually you're blind. So, um, for my efforts with and my, my relationships through building relationships I've forged, um, I've learned a lot from my clients and I feel like sometimes they give me more than I actually give them. Today, uh, while listening to the, the people talk about obstacles and um, being stagnant and not living the life that you want, I, you know, the challenges that everyone here faces, I have no excuses. And I too am facing some challenges and um, I realize I'm being stagnant with certain things and I have no excuse. So if everyone here can have such a positive outlook and um, you know, uh, do so many things and accomplish so many goals, then I can't make excuses for myself any longer either. So they empower me as much if not more as I empower them. So I'm lucky to have them as my family and that they include me as part of their NFB family. Yeah.